I got a list of the 25 most dangerous tourist attractions on Earth. Why? Because you can find anything on the internet. Oh, and number 25 on the list is this glass bridge in China. And this bridge is cool because the floor is literally glass. No, it's cool because monkey. Oh, there is a giant monkey. It's definitely scary, but I don't know if it's dangerous. I can see why this is 25 on the list. I mean, this bridge, this place, whatever he's doing, this rock climbing are definitely more dangerous. Yeah. Number 24. Oh my gosh. Wait, is this just on the side of a mountain? That's scarier than the glass because like cables, I don't know why I feel like I fall through it. Oh my gosh. Just on the side of a mountain. They're literally higher than the clouds. This has got glass oh. too. It's got both. If that glass just broke, he go down. He would meet his grandparents. Ooh. Oh, no, no. I wouldn't do that. No, one. That's terrifying. Not bad, not bad. Number 23. Is this a hotel room in the sky? He's hang gliding. He's bed gliding. Yo, I want to take this to school so that way I could sleep till the last minute and yeah. then I just get there and wake up. That would be genius. How does he land? Gracefully. Oh, wow. That looked way easier than it should have been. Oh, look. And now he's got all this extra time to just take a nap. The cool part is right after he landed, he wasn't like, yes, I didn't just die. He didn't break character. I thought the cool part was when he was in the sky. No, I agree with what I said. <laughs> Up next at 22 is dinner in the sky. Oh, I've heard about this place. So basically everyone takes a seat at the table at this restaurant. They have like a server and everything and they lift you like a hundred feet in the sky. Jimmy, I just have one question though. Why gamer chairs? Is this gamer lunch? Oh my gosh, that's so cool. I would be terrified. Like what happens if your phone falls out of your pocket? <laughs> just hits a guy walking by. You don't have a phone anymore. It's got LEDs too. Now it's worth it. And then they lower you back down and everybody claps. Good job. Maddie, if you're watching this, let's go there sometime. I mean, I'm watching this weekend. I'd rather go with my girlfriend. Oh. Colorado tornado. Oh my gosh. Well, why is he driving towards it? Or is it sucking him in? I think he's driving towards well, it. Then you're stupid. It's the Midwest. They have these all the time. What? They're just used to it. It reminds me of the movie Twister where it flings a cow through the air. Oh, the Twister reminds you of the movie Twister? Yeah. I'll be honest, I don't think I've ever seen a tornado. I don't ever want to. I'll stick to watching them on React. <laughs> I don't know how that was a tourist attraction, but it's the Midwest. That's a tourist attraction. Who goes to the Midwest? No one. Tornadoes. <laughs> <laughs> now we got a thousand foot swing in China. This doesn't look safe. Here's the thing though. Like, she only has one rope holding her. Even if she fell, she'd just go whack. That's nuts. Man, a thousand feet in the air. I'd be terrified to get off. Oh my, no, this is a suite on the side of a mountain. That looks like a video game. This looks like Borderlands for the five of you that played that. I was going to say Death Strand and for the four of you that played that. <laughs> oh, you got to climb to it? You don't think that's worth the climb? I mean, it, here's the thing. If this isn't a chilly place, like this place is comfortable, perfect. But if it gets like 80 degrees on yeah. this mountain, you're done for. You're roasting, roasting alive. It's not fun. All right, number 18, it's a whirlpool. Yo, they found the drain in the ocean. Look at that. It's like an underwater tornado. That's kind of cool. But wait, why is a whirlpool more dangerous than a house on the side of a mountain? I feel like mountain house be spinny water. Fun fact, because the guy, not in that clip, but later on, he went to go see his grandma when he tried to record it again. Yeah. Number 17 is kayaking and what possibly could be dangerous about whales. I see what's dangerous about kayaking. I hope wow. we get to see a really good slow-mo. Yeah. No. Maddie all the time asks me if I want to go kayaking no. and babe, the answer is no. Can Actually, if you ask me again, I'm going to think you're trying to kill me. At number 16, we have a hiking location in Spain. Did you say uncharted? Because that's what it looks like. I think the holes were already there. Oh, what? He's no. doing it in sandals. That dog is cooler than me. <laughs> that dog can climb a mountain unlike you. I wonder if that dog actually knows what's going on. I don't know if he's just like, it feels breezy up here. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I mean, I'll admit, there are some parts of this list I don't agree with, but I would say this is definitely more dangerous than Glass Bridge in China. How there are 15 more dangerous places than this, I don't know. I'll be the judge. Guess you gotta watch to find out. Frying Pan Tower. What? We were gonna go here. Yeah. This is a real tourist destination. We were actually gonna spend 50 hours here for a video, but then we realized I'm a baby and I get seasick and we didn't. You have to take a helicopter out there. It gets hit by hurricanes constantly. No, I didn't like, care about any of that. It's just, just the seasickness on a boat. Oh, so you are a baby. Yeah. Even check your email. Wow, you can check an email and notice how they didn't say use the internet. They literally yeah. only said so check, check the email. email. But then you click on them and you get a spinning wheel of death yeah. because there's no Wi-Fi. Flab City. Oh. Wait a minute. We're reacting to a main channel video. Hey, that's me. Shut hey, up. that's me. Plus 20 pounds. <laughs> Basically, Slab City is the only city in all of America with no laws. And the reason why it has no laws is because it's literally in the middle of a desert. There's a bunch of nomads moved to the desert and they're just like, you want laws? And they're like, no. And so then they're just like, okay, no laws. 90% of the people there are very nice though. And then there was crazy knife guy. If you took 10 people out of Slab City, nine, nine and a half of them are perfectly nice. And then like one of them is just out of their mind crazy. We're now on number 13. Burger King foot lettuce. Is he jumping? 
again. Why? Wait, is he going down? No. Oh, he's just getting up to the edge. Okay. Still though, I don't know so, if that's worth the risk why? though. Why would you do that? I don't agree with this. I wouldn't agree. I mean, at least she's having fun. Yeah. She might fall to her impending doom. Most exciting way to experience the falls. I don't think so. I think the most exciting way is to still be alive. Just look at pictures. Yeah, I think the most exciting way is from a comfortable distance far away, not at the edge of the waterfall. Oh my God. Whoa. That's actually cool. That is really cool. Is this just like an obstacle course in the sky? You know, when you're playing a video game and you're like, I feel like I can make that jump. This puts it to the test. I got something even better. Okay. That's like if Carl attempted this course. <laughs> Record with us and we'll be nicer. No chance I'm ever doing this. Oh, that's so scary feeling. Wow. Know what time it is? Half dome time. It's convenient that half dome is just over halfway through the video. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Black line optional. Uh, I don't think so. Why would you need that? What are you, a wuss? Yeah, what do you hate living or something? Yeah! Woo! America! America! Rocks! We climb hill! Hey, that looks like a fun one. I uh, would do that. It's still pretty dangerous. I wouldn't do this one or this one or uh, this one. But Matt, if you want to go on a date, I would do this one. Oh, Red Bull again. Oh. Yellow Bull. Yellow Bull. Until they sponsor us. Until they sponsor us. Oh my god. Uh, no way he goes No down there. way. What? How? How does that even work? How do you not break your neck? Where is he? Look, he's underwater. <laughs> All right. I guess that shot at the end was like, hey, he survived. <laughs> yo. I just want to meet a shark. I, I feel like I could just level with them, you know? And just be like, yo, why are you so mad, bro? Yo, what? It's the back's open. Why is the back open? That was not a real sound effect. Play it again. Look at He knows he's popping the buoys. Oh, wow. Well, I guess we'll just. I agree. That is a dangerous tourist destination. Number nine was an 18 foot shark attacking a man in a cage. Terrifying. Let's see what number eight is. Does it live up to the expectation? Uh, yep, it's living up to the expectations. Oh my God! No. Stop! They're so high up! I'm shaking. Stop. They're just let children do this? He's not clipped on. For people who are scared of heights, this is a pretty ballsy thing to do. I think even if you're not as scared of heights, it's still pretty ballsy. I'm horrified of heights. I'm quaking and I'm not even there. I would agree. That belonged at number eight. Let's see what number seven is. Oh, running with the bull. Oh <laughs> no. These I are never, always funny to watch. I would never do this. People get gouged and stuff. <laughs> he bumped into green shirt guys. I don't know. I think 18 foot shark belongs at number nine. I think yeah. the ledge thing belongs at number eight. I don't know if that belongs at number seven. I'm gonna agree with Maybe you. Maybe if I saw a bull flip someone, I'd change my opinion. Nope. Oh, here it is right there. Now I changed my opinion. Cave diving. This is yeah. definitely very dangerous. People go missing wow. all the time because of caves. Look, air pockets. That's so cool. Yeah, imagine you have like a scuba gear failure or something. That's insane. But this music is making this very epic. Oh, yeah. You know what this is from? Call of Duty? Subnautica. Oh, really? Yeah. That's cool. Who's the first one to explore these caves? To like map them out. That person follows you. Yeah, that's the real guy. Climbing a mountain's pretty dangerous. Yeah. Uh, he jumped. He jumped. And it's flying squirrel man. <laughs> that's so cool. He's cooler than us. I'll admit when I'm not the coolest person in the room. It's right now. No, I am the coolest person in the room. Oh. But if you factor in this guy, then I'm not. But Wait, not but I'm in the room. So anyways, that was number five. Oh, this is the thing where you get on top. This is wild. And then he does like 360s while you're strapped what? on top of the plane. That's crazy. And you just get to stand up there and experience it. Would you do that? Yeah, probably. The plane's literally 10,000 feet in the air. You have to get out of your seat and you oh. have to walk on. You don't start up there. You have to walk on top of the plane and strap in. Wait, would I also have to jump off the plane? No, that's optional. Who the heck is getting that shot? Who is filming this the guy filming it is also just as impressive <laughs> we're in the top three boys this is it we wait listen to... italian mountain summit yeah okay so far pretty dangerous living up to the expectations let's see what happens oh is it just this pathway see how steep the drop is yeah, yeah. that's dangerous all the other ones that were high up they were clipped in these people are just climbing up a mountain or except for the guy fall. literally right in front of us is clipped in he's clipped to another person you're clipped to your mom i was at one point <laughs> we all were volcano boarding what does that mean? anything volcano deserves number two on the list yo i used to Love this song like 10 years ago and who cares this is epic what, what am i watching what is going on here Whoa! what is going on they're wiping out so they're just riding ash they're riding down the ass this is like snowboarding but for a volcano that oh, oh that doesn't look good that one hurt i'd love to do this on a volcano that's like 10 percent less steeper yeah Perfect. they were getting some speed all right that was a good number two that belonged at number two i believe in that and now the time you've been waiting for the number one most dangerous tourist attraction on this planet ever according to this list hold up hold up hold up okay this is alex uh -huh. from free solo this isn't a tourist attraction people don't just go climb up this mountain he, he's like the only person who's ever done this oh, okay i literally watched this entire like documentary he did uh -huh. it, it's wild he literally scaled this entire mountain right here with no gear or nothing just his hand he's literally a monster do you like cake i do like cake well i don't care subscribe